that lead from him. Mayer just completing 200 laps. Gibbs, though, with some East experience, just like the leader as Kyle Sieg brings the 41 to a stop. A caution there for the driver of the 41. Younger brother of Ryan Sieg. Here, Georgia. Moving forward in both of the previous races. It looked like he was by himself. Plus 13. Yeah, Max started back in the 20th position. Oh, oh trouble. Got another one. That is Brad Smith, the man who's been doing it longer than most. In fact, he has got the most active starts, the third longest streak in Arkham Menards series history. This is 300. The ultimate underdog never give up attitude, but couldn't keep traction here in that 48. Looked like it, uh, Ty Gibbs misjudged it a little bit as he got down on the corner. He made contact with a right front. I mentioned three races in eight days for this series. We were in Toledo last Saturday. It's third we're in Bristol, and the six goes around. We're heading to Winchester for a Saturday afternoon matinee as the yellow comes out once again. Retzlaff got a piece of that as well. You see the damage on the front of Sanchez's car. All right. Racing with Diaz. He's going to drive down to the inside. And then he just loses the front end for just a second. Then he's doing his best to try to stay off of Diaz and loses the back end. Michael Self does a nice job avoiding him. And that's kind of that race within a race we're talking about. One more look for Michael Self's car, but it's an East Series points race in addition to the Arkham and Art Series. The COVID and pandemic have just certainly made everybody kind of have to pull their hair out, but Arkham is doing a great job figuring out how to get all these races in for these guys. Watch Red Slap. Watch, see the contact right there as it just damages the nose on Sanchez. Boy, that was a night that he struggled mightily. 97 around. Sliding down off of the very steep banking here. 24 to 28 degrees, depending on where that spin started. See if we can figure out what happened. Black and green race car already turned right there. He, he was right near the, the leaders, yeah, too. He was near the 0 6 of Cotton Nicolopolis. Don't know if there might have been a little bit of contact. Looked like he just got free in the corner a little bit. Looked like Ty Gibbs was able to stay with him and grab that lead from him. Phil, another thing is we take a look at the 20, that right front problem causing perhaps that 20 machine to slam the outside wall at Bristol. You can look at all the parts falling off that car. I would guess as, as we stay green, there's a lot of debris on the racetrack right now. The ARC officials are going to have, there's the caution right there. I wouldn't be surprised if that sway bar arm didn't fall off and cut down that right front tire, Dave. Sixth caution brought out by Chandler Smith, whose struggles continue in that JBL audio car. There's all of that emotion on his sleeve. Same story for Chandler. You know, they're both of them not very happy with what's happened here. Yeah, no question the right front tire went down on Chandler Smith, and they are going to call this the first race break. We're right inside 75 laps. Especially if you're Brett Holmes. Ooh, got a smoker. Looks like an engine going on the 11. Talked about Owen Smith just a little while ago. Started as a crew guy running through Daytona. Yeah, I got to believe there was some oil on the racetrack. We saw the smoke coming out of the tailpipes. A couple of other cars getting involved over there as well. Yeah, Justin Carroll in, in the 91 as well as the 6th of Sanchez. It was one of the big moments perhaps in this 2020 chase as we've got Parker Retzlaff around not once, not twice. And coming into contact in the inside wall, Retzlaff running in the 8th position at the time. will bring out the 8th caution. For Michael Self, see the contact. Drew Dollar into the back of Retzlaff. This and could be some of that retaliation I was talking about. Retzlaff was on the inside of Dollar when he got spun at Toledo, and Drew Dollar was not very happy about it. No, I think you're exactly right, Dave. He just got to the back of him and just turned him around there. But he's all over the racetrack. Oh, trouble. Gustine is around. The 32, though, doesn't look like he came into contact with anything, so perhaps no damage on the mash on it, Chevrolet. Okay, Gus. Watch the 32, middle of your screen, racing with Taylor Gray. Just got loose getting down in the corner. And Taylor oh. did a good job not to turn it around. A very good job.